everyone. How are you? How are you doing? Thank you very, very much for tuning in. And thank you for supporting my page, my channel, and my podcast. Thank you very, very much. And welcome, welcome. To those who are not subscribed yet, please do subscribe and support my channel, my page, and my podcast. And of course, I would like to say thank you very, very much. So today's episode actually is about clients' rights. And also, Usapin Abogado, Buhay Amerika. Pinaka-importante po na alamin natin ang mga rights natin. Kasi marami pong mga kababayan na hindi nila alam. So, ang pinaka-importante, kung halimbawa kukuha ng abogado, i-alamin ang mga rights muna. Para pag nagbigay ng pera sa abogado, i-alam natin. Halimbawa, kung hindi gagawin ang trabaho, paano natin Uh, hahaburin ang pera dahil um, binayaran mo yung abogado. So, kailangan malaman natin lahat yon Hindi po pwede yung iiwan ka, aabandon ka ng abogado ng basta-basta. Kailangan alamin ang obligasyon ng abogado sa iyo. So, in, in reality, this episode is all about attorneys and lawyer and also, it's an eye-opener, it's an educational purposes uh, video and blog is because we must actually be alert and try to learn about clients, right? Especially when we are trusting an attorney or lawyer. That way, when things arise, we can always uh, be able to find solution. So, the client's rights actually is very deep. So, my advice and my suggestion is to do research on your own. That way you can understand it fully. Because every state, every country has different kind of wording, but similar step on how to process when it things go wrong. Okay, so make sure you do that. It's very, very important. It's because this is what it calls self-care. If you do not know anything about your rights, then... Um, things get so complicated and this is why it's very very important to those who do not know anything about rights make sure you do your research you can act, always go to Google or you can always go to your nearest bookstore and purchase a book about clients right that way no one is can uh, mislead you so anyway usaping abogado napakahirap po lalong lalo na kung halimbawa na biktima kayo ng isang abogado kasi hindi po lahat ng abogado ay totoo at minsan-minsan nakakatagpo po tayo ng maling abogado kaya kailangan pag-aralan natin ang mga client rights okay for disclaimer this is just an educational purposes and an eye opener so sa madaling salita alamin po lahat kasi mahirap na yung nabibiktam ka tapos uh, pag wala kang alam Hindi mo alam kung sinong lalapitan mo. So anyway, thank you very, very much. Don't forget to thumbs up and like and of course share the video and support me. Thank you guys.